Uh, what's your view on uh, prop tech? Anything to say about that? Because the technology in the property business, you know, is uh, connected with the purple bricks. These sort of companies who have yoked up. We know the chairman, a very nice guy. Um, anything to say there? Because that's an obsession. Now you've got countrywide joining forces, trying to do a joint venture uh, to get a thousand branches with one of the biggest agencies. J something was in the paper. Uh, what's your view? Because the whole model of agency has backfired recently. Yeah, I think it's, it's always going to be an interesting area from two aspects. One is uh, fractional ownership, trying to break properties up so people can own smaller portions of them. Uh, and I think if you have any route to people being able to carry on living in their property, yeah, say doing capital release without actually really, you know, that's, that's always very interesting. Um, yeah, but how do you deal with the, the issue that I didn't understand was how you deal with the uh, ownership, because if you're breaking it up, how are you going to have many people that will own a little slot and how are you going to do it on the land registry? How does that get done? Can that be organised? I think that's where blockchain becomes very important because then you've got an open distributed ledger, that, ledger that's immutable uh, and actually therefore you can see who owns exactly what portion of a particular property so therefore it makes it, it's a facilitator. I mean, you know, I live in a house in South West London, it's got six bedrooms that's a great thing to have when I've got three children. You know, at some point, my richly imagined future, those three children might become financially independent and no longer live with my wife and me. Now, I've either got to then to sell the house, go and move into somewhere smaller in order to release the capital, or I maybe have a situation where I've got fractional ownership of my property, I retain the, 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 the majority share, the 45% of my property ends up being owned by other people. It's not a bad investment for them to have. It's not a bad investment for them to have. And also, what the hell do you want to do selling that lovely place that you've lived in all those years to downsize to somewhere uh, and live in a smaller place um, where you've spent all your time, you've built the family there, you, you've got a history there. Why would you want to leave? Would you want to leave? Ah, not immediately. Uh, it's always great. If you have that fractional ownership, it's great to be able to offload some of that. So some people get the benefit of having the investment in, say, that particular part of the real estate market, and yet you yourself have the benefit of living where you've always lived. So what about this uh, sort of conversation then of prop tech? Where's this going to go in the next uh, 10 years? Because right now, when you talk to anyone about prop tech, they go, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. I don't understand how it works. But I think this is a massive opportunity, isn't it? Uh, it's huge, especially when you've got you know, countries where you've got an enormous concentration of very high value dwellings. Um, sort of anywhere around, say, the harbour in Sydney, anywhere in Manhattan, anywhere in certain suburbs of Los Angeles, San Francisco, you know, where you've got these very high value properties, it makes an enormous amount of sense that you start to think in terms of fractional ownership. Yeah, I think that's brilliant. So yeah, very good points and look forward to sharing more with you very soon. Thank you very much.